Hey guys, I hope you're all really well. So today I'm going to be talking you through my university experience so far. For those of you that are new to my channel, I have just finished my second year studying fashion design at university. So yeah, thought this was a good time to sit down and tell you guys my experience over the last two years. I'm going to try and cover tips from like choosing your university to um, showing you some of my work possibly at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I've written down a few bullet points so I don't want to forget anything for this video so if I keep looking down, which I'm going to try not to do, that is why. So the first thing I want to cover is how I chose the university I currently go to and one of the main things for me is that I didn't want to be too far away from home um, just because I'm a very homey person, I like going home a lot. I like knowing that if I need to go home and I've forgotten something it's not too far away so I kind of chose something within like a two hour radius and so when I was looking into unis I'd look on a map and sort of see whereabouts was two hours away um, and then just look at all the universities in those different areas. I also looked at websites that said which fashion unis were the best unis to go to and everything like that and I also knew that I didn't want to be in London so that was like ruling out quite a few. <laughs> and then once I had a list of universities that I kind of was a bit interested in, I looked up all of their open days and like booked onto them. Um, this is such an important thing to do because this is how I chose my university, like I would not have made the right choice if I just did it by their website. Um, because lots of these universities have lots of money to put into websites to make it look amazing. Um, and then when you get there, you realise that all the courses are different, contact time is different, and everything is just slightly different at different unis. Um, and also I just, I'm a very vibey person, which sounds really cringe, but, but when I came to the open day for the university that I'm currently at, I just straight away was like, yep, I feel comfortable here, like I can see myself working in this studio. Um, so I'd say a lot of it is to trust your gut when you go to these open days and just make sure you find out what the course is like because all of them are different. <laughs> it's not like school where everyone pretty much has to do the same thing. Also I wouldn't worry too much about accommodation if it's not very nice. Don't worry because that kind of makes everyone in a more communal effort to come together even though it's horrible. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about the accommodation. Obviously worry about it a bit but yeah mine wasn't very nice. Um, but my university is lovely so you kind of gotta weigh up the pros and cons of each one. Now I want to talk about the difference between first and second year. Um, when I was doing first year I did think it was a little bit of a piss take, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I think if you're like me and you like constructing garments and you already know quite a few little bits um, about fashion because all of my A-levels were basically art-based. Um, I felt like I was quite ahead in that sort of sense. Um, so first year was really like took a while for me to feel like I'd learnt anything which was really annoying um, but I think it's pretty similar wherever you go which is a shame because you're spending nine grand a year and you're not getting taught that much. Obviously I did learn some things in first year but I just thought that it wasn't so full on, like I thought I'd get to university and just be overwhelmed with the amount of work that I had but I really wasn't. So yeah, in first year we learnt how to make a shirt, I think it was, and then we did a denim project as well. And we did learn like lots of little helpful bits, so if you don't have a good first year, don't worry about it because A, the grades don't count. <laughs> and you'll be learning things but just not realising it, um, like we learnt how to use a photo studio properly. Um, and just little bits like technical flats um, and useful things but just it wasn't like what I was expecting of university when I came so um, yeah don't be too worried because second year it gets a lot better so in second year our first project we had to recreate a whole outfit from um, a designer that we had to choose out of like six designers um, and they were all menswear designers so we like had to try out menswear which I was okay with but like I'd have preferred to learn more about women's wear um, because that's what I want to do and I did really enjoy that project and I learned a lot about tailoring which I actually realized that I quite enjoy doing now so that was fun and then the other part of that project we had to 
create another outfit that we think would fit into the catwalk collection. Um, so yeah, all of this work is up on my Instagram. Um, I will put like images up when I talk about these projects. Um, but if you want to go and follow it, there'll be a link down below. And then after that, we had a project all about creating your own fabric and just sort of thinking a bit outside the box, um, which was fun, but I don't really like my outcome from that, um, which was like a pink dress. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> then I think that was it for the first semester. And then we moved on to create a collection where we had to like pretend we were going to create our own collection and make two whole outfits from that collection um, and like photograph them and do like everything for it and that was really fun um, that's probably my favourite one so far and then we did a little accessories project to go alongside that and then our final sort of major project for this year was with a designer called Ashish so it was a live project so he actually came in and like sort of told us what he'd wanted to see and then we all sort of had to like interpret it a bit differently so yeah second year has been a lot more full-on um, I've made so many more garments this year and it's just been more of what I expected university was gonna be like studying fashion design so that's really good and I think it's also helped that this year I have not been living in halls <laughs> um, I have a nice big room I'd say my room in halls is literally a quarter of the size of this room which is insane I don't know how I got any work done in there so yeah I love this room and I'm living with my friends which I just feel a lot more calm and happy, don't have to go out all the time because literally all my friends are in the, within the proximity of where I live. And yeah, I'm just a lot happier in second year, I wasn't loving first year, just course wise, um, but yeah, really happy with second year. I want to talk a little bit about fabric suppliers, um, I used to get all of my fabrics, this is like A level, from um, a shop in Kidlington in Oxfordshire. Um, called Freelance Fabrics and it's a pretty good fabric shop um, but now that I've been at university um, I can like really appreciate good fabrics from London shops so my favourite ones to go to are McCulloch and Wallace they do really good trimmings and like downstairs they have lots of zips and like um, just more trimmings downstairs so that's a really good place to go and then the second one that I discovered in second year is the cloth house and they do some gorgeous like natural fiber fabrics but then they also do like other interesting fabrics in their downstairs but cloth house also has a like factory warehouse shop in I think it's in Camden but I just haven't been to it yet I think they open on Fridays in term time um, but yeah I haven't been to that one there's another shop which is quite pricey called Missan but I've been in there and I've just never bought fabric but I probably will in third year but that's also another fabric shop in London these are all sort of down the same street the three I've just suggested um, and then if you want to go somewhere else where the fabrics are a bit cheaper in London then Shepherd's Bush there is like a whole road full of um, fabric shops that are like quite cheap they're not really cheap but they're pretty cheap. <laughs> but then if you want to go for the cheapest of chips then Fabricland is a great place to be. <laughs> I can spend so much money in Fabricland just because everything is so cheap so I just want everything. <laughs> so yeah those are my favourite fabric shops and the problem with fabric is that it all adds up. <laughs> Buying supplies for this course is a huge expense and lots of people won't tell you that on open days but you just need to be aware that you're going to be spending a lot of money. I think last semester it all added up to about 500 and something pounds for like fabrics and supplies um, and supplies meaning like sketchbooks, um, hangers to hang your clothes on, printers, printing ink, all of these like little things that you don't think about and then like you're just landed with all this money and it's scary so if you're thinking about doing fashion design then um, it's always helpful to have a job to help support it or um, a supportive family that will help pay for things like fabrics <laughs> and printing and sketchbooks so just be very aware that it is a pricey um, degree to do I own quite a few fashion books and there was like a big suggested reading list um, before I went to uni and I literally bought all of the books thinking that I'd need all of the books 
and I really didn't. So I would wait until you get to university and see if any of the books would actually be useful for your course. This book was not on the suggested reading list but it is like the one that I found the most useful <laughs> which is so annoying. It's quite an expensive book but I think I found it on Amazon for like used um, but it's basically flats technical drawing for fashion. It's all about drawing technical flats and um, like the right way to do it. So if you guys are on your summer holiday and you're just about to go to university then have a play with Illustrator and like get working on your technical flats because they're really important because they will do a lot on this at university and it's just such a useful book to have. I also find it useful now like if I've done like maybe a drawstring I'll be like oh how on earth would I do a technical drawing of that um, then it will be in here and I can like use it for reference. So yeah it's a very useful book I will leave it linked down below. One of the main things I get asked is how I structure my time and that is something that I have just had to be really strict with myself on. I think having this YouTube channel has also made me more structured and like more determined to get the work done before the deadline so I have time to do filming. So yeah, maybe having like a little job alongside university would be helpful because then you can like really structure your time well. I write a lot of to-do lists. <laughs> that was quite hard to say. I love lists. I write a lot of to-do lists and um, that helps a lot <laughs> but it also can stress me out quite a lot um, so sometimes I will like highlight parts on my to-do list and I'll make sure I get them done by the end of the day and also just like a random tip that's not really to do with productivity but it kind of is for me is keeping a tidy room this has just helped me keep calm and like just be on top of things a bit more like at the end of every day I will make sure my room is at least to a certain standard of tidiness and um, just so I can think and I'm not tripping over things and for me it just makes for a more peaceful mindset and a clear head and it also makes sure I make my bed every morning that's another thing that helps so yeah those are just little random things that help out um, with keeping my head clear um, and now I'm going to show you guys some of my work I think I'll start off by showing you guys my portfolio from the end of second year oh actually before I show you my portfolio I want to show you um, a little technical pack that we have to create. This is like following on from that book I was talking about earlier. So yeah, we have to do like a technical pack for every single outfit in our lineups. And we also have to do like specifications and costings of certain outfits. So I'm gonna have to like blank the first bit of my um, portfolio because it's got my name on it. <laughs> okay, so this is my portfolio, but I'm trying to blank my name and email address. <laughs> so this is my first page. Um, for my first page I try and keep it clean and just like give an idea of what I'm about as a designer so like this shows I'm a women's wear designer, um, I like creating slightly girlier stuff um, and yeah I love photography, This, these were all my own photographs. So then we move on to this next page which is research and this is just what my project was about and everything. Then I put a little bit of my illustration in with the colour story at the top, um, then some technical work on the next page and like me constructing the garment. Then I put a little bit of my sketchbook work, me trying on the garment in its twelve form, a big zoomed in photograph of the sort of embellishment that I put on the dress. And then this is my lineup from the Ashish project and the final photo shoot for that and then I put another final photo on the next page and then we head on to create a collection so I put my name again at the top just to show that it's sort of like a new front page almost within the project um, and so yeah this is my favourite image from the shoot it's really not coming up very well because of the light I'll leave my Instagram and they're all up on there and then I put a bit of my research again and then like twirling my design and thinking about changing my idea and how I'm going to edit it and stuff and then more of twirling the idea and then this is my colour story down here which is basically all the colours that are going to be within the collection and then I have a big double spread of my lineup with fabric swatches at the top and then I've just got my final images um, of how the garments turned out and right on the back I put like a little illustration of um, the jacket from the project 
so yeah that is my portfolio one thing I still struggle with is drawing so when I do my lineups I like to do them on a graphic tablet so I like sketch them out and then I'll scan them in and draw on top of the bodies that I've drawn um, so these are my lineups oh it just doesn't show up so these are my lineups printed out onto glossy paper um, so I've got that one I like to put an image behind that sort of relates to the lineup a little bit these really are not showing up great <laughs> so I have a few garments still here that I've made this year um, this one is from create a collection um, which you guys have seen pictures of these are all modeled on um, my friends on my Instagram if you want to have a proper look at them Then I've got this sort of bomber style jacket which is like pretty oversized <laughs> um, yeah I really like that the things I've kept here are sort of things that I think I would actually wear in real life <laughs> and then the final thing is my blazer from create a collection this fabric is so beautiful this is from the cloth house I love it so much so yeah I think I'm gonna leave it there for this video if you guys have more questions about university experience and studying fashion design then make sure you put them in the comments down below and I will try and get back to you um, and yeah I hope it's been helpful and I will see you guys all in my next video bye